Okay. Part seven. Yeah, you know, three kids there. I mean, he was a wonderful father. I mean, he was happy because I mentioned to him, are you nervous about doing the tour? He goes, no. He says, I can't wait to get on stage. Now, that, he, and, and that's, in, you know, in contrast to what we've been hearing from yeah. other yeah. people. Yeah, because a lot of people are negative. I don't know what happened the last month, but the time I was with Michael, I mean, he was determined. And he was a, he was a genuine guy. Plus, he was a prankster, too. Oh, he was really? always playing a joke. Oh, like what? But sometimes he would call. One time he called, he said, this is all oh, mom. And I, at, at the 10 minutes, I thought this guy was stalking me. <laughs> <laughs> and I found out with Michael. I said, oh, Michael, I what did you get your, your butt in the gym? I said, I'm going to whip your butt this time. I said, you sound like this. <laughs> but he was always playing jokes on me. You know, so I used to call me on the phone. But he was a regular, the kid, the great guy. Hey, Omar, you sound an awful lot like Michael Jackson yeah, with had, that voice. He had such a <laughs> voice. He could do other voices. Yeah, like, yeah, sometimes he disguised himself like he, like he could not come to my facility because people were following him. And I heard a couple of stories how he put a man against himself with the ambulance. And he'd be driving the ambulance, you know, playing, steering away the paparazzi. Yeah, okay. Michael was a fun, he was a now, and I heard a couple of stories how he put a man against himself with the ambulance, and he'd be driving with <laughs> the ambulance, you know, playing, stealing away the paparazzi. Michael was a fun, he said, he's fun. Now, and I heard a couple of stories how he put a man against himself with the ambulance, and he'd be driving with <laughs> the ambulance, you know, playing, stealing away the paparazzi. Michael was a fun, he said, he's fun. Now,
think we've seen this year was Michael Jackson being with Michael Jackson in the world. What was that like? I nearly got some stills. That was odd because um, Michael Jackson, they called me up the day before and they said, do you want to introduce Michael Jackson on stage at the O2? Which oh, what, you didn't know? You thought you'd know from that? Literally, the day before. And, um, and I was like, God, yeah, you know, something you're going to tell your grandkids about, you know? So, um, so we were there. For, it was in the Blackwall Tunnel, which is around the corner from me. And look at me, I look so studious. Because <laughs> the weirdest thing is, all he said was, this is it, because this is it, because this is it. I love Times you. 30, times. Look, now I look a bit more uncomfortable there. Um, <laughs> But he came on stage, and as you can see, I'm the only other person on stage, so he came on stage, and, um, and sort of, normally when you, you know, I know you've probably given an award away or something like that, or, uh, so when you introduce someone on stage, more often than not, they don't, it's not about you, they come on, and if you're lucky, you get a shake of the hand and stuff, and then they come out and say thank you. So he came over, and he just walked straight over to me, and I just thought, oh, I don't know. so I sort, of, I sort of put my hand out, and the next thing I know, I was getting a Jacko hug. Yeah. And I tell you what, no, seriously. I mean, he's ripped. Yeah, it's not, what you, it's not what you expect at all. It's really like he's sort of championship premiership standard, aren't they? Good back muscles like that. On that note, no, we. No, oh my god, that's not the end. No, oh, right, right, carry on. Well, he, then, he then turns round, halfway through, and you know, he whispers in my ear, and I'm thinking, oh my god, Michael Jackson's going to talk to me. And all he whispers, you can't do, you can't say what Michael Jackson says without doing the impression of Michael Jackson. Teleprompter on? I was like, yes, I'm sorry. But I didn't need a teleprompter because all he said was, this is it because this is it because this is it. Anyway, halfway through his speech, and then he sort of stopped and did a little dance, and then he came back. <laughs> and halfway through his speech, his dance was sort of like, like David Brent style dance because it wasn't like, seriously, it wasn't like a proper dance. You went, ooh. <laughs> and then he came back, and then he stood uh, stood there. And then he, we, he started talking again, and then somehow became overcome with emotion. And uh, look, I'm the, only, I'm the only other person on the stage, so I'm just thinking, oh my God, what's he going to do? So he steps back, and, he look, and then he turns around and looks at me like this. <laughs> as if he wants more support from me. So all I can do to do is go like this. Thank you so much. I really love what I just heard. It took everything to keep me from crying. <laughs> thank you so much. Good afternoon. I'd like to thank the Pepsi Cola Corporation for sponsoring the Dangerous Tour, which we plan to kick off in June. The only reason I am going on tour is to raise funds for the newly formed Heal the World, an international children's charity that I am spearheading to assist children and the ecology. My goal is to gross $100 million by Christmas 1993. I urge every corporation and individual who cares about this planet and the future of the children to help raise money for the Heal the World charity. The Heal the World Foundation will contribute funds to pediatric AIDS in honor of my friend Ryan White, the world, as well as spread the message of global love in the hopes that others too will be moved to do their share to help heal the world. Thank you for coming. I love you very much.
So what do you think about that? That was strange. <coughs> that was really strange. <coughs> Sorry. If you notice, at the end of the video where it has that this, well, they're saying that the video, that the photo was a Photoshop photo. That the S between Michael's legs is cut off, while the other S on the other side were under, behind this, because this is C-H-I-S, the S under that, behind that, is the full S. But then, the other S under is, I-S, is cut off because Michael's leg, but in between there's a gap, so it should have continued. But it just accidentally stopped and nothing was in between. So a lot of people are saying that that's Photoshop, which is interesting to think about that. Because I never thought of it. But we'll see. So I hope you enjoyed 7. I hope this, this really shows you. I hope you enjoyed part 7. So I'm hoping that this will really show you that how Michael Jackson is still alive and kicking. I'll see you for number... I don't know if you can see it.